Do you know it's your nervous system's capacity that determines how you recover and cope with stress? Let's say this is your capacity and on one day you wake up and there's a lot of traffic on the way to work. Your boss sends you an email that says we need to talk. They've offered a promotion to somebody else on your team. Your kids are sick and need to be picked up. You find that there's bills to pay. Your house is a mess. You and your partner have an argument. And before you know it, your day feels like a mess and you move into the situation of dysregulation. So you might move into a state where you feel wound up, angry, agitated. You might find that you feel panicked and there's a lot of anxiety. That can also show up as not sleeping well, gut issues, and having a lot of arguments with your partner. On the other hand, it could show up as a feeling of hopelessness, like the world is just caving in on you and you don't have enough resources to cope. You might feel your energy collapse or nosedive. You might feel this sense of no matter what I do, it's not enough. I can't cope with all that's going on. But let's say this is your nervous system capacity. And on that same day, you wake up and there's traffic on the way to work. Your boss sends you the email that you need to talk. They give your promotion to somebody else. You have the challenges with the kids, with the house, with your partner. And although that is still stressful, the capacity that you have to hold that means that you might still feel some activation or mobilization in your nervous system, but you don't have all of the hormones released like adrenaline and cortisol that shift you into fight or flight. What that will look like is, although there is a mobilization and you know that you have a lot on your plate, you're not losing your ability to feel safe, to think clearly and to act in line with your values. So it's a completely different experience. You might have the ability to still access your creative and innovative thinking so you can reach out to others, so you can make new plans that will support you. The thing that shrinks our capacity the most is periods in our life of chronic and traumatic stress. Our nervous system has learnt in that time to be better at detecting threats and danger and we're likely to have loss of vagal tone. But the good news is, thanks to the process of neuroplasticity, our nervous system is dynamic and we can change this capacity with the right tools and resources. If this is something you'd like to learn more about, then I'd love to have you join me in my upcoming training.